Okay, so this is where we are echoing. Oh, not not really. Where are we echoing our okay? There we go. So HTML special chars, right? And then we echo our post there. So what I want us to do now here at this point is to use our function. Uh, right here so let me put the function here check tags and put it there so this one we check for tags in the existing post and then echo them out there and then the html special chars will render everything use useless so i think this might not actually work out but let's give it a spin shall we so let me come back here and write a post so i will say something like i'm um, tagging john in this post okay so let me post that post goody so of course we get the error so it's saying undefined index user id online 239 in functions Hmm. Let's go to functions. 239. User ID is undefined. Hmm. Tag name, tag name. Now, if we go to our... We do have a user ID there. So, the first thing we can do is check what we're actually returning in here. So, I will say... Let's print readable. Print the readable version of the raw so that we see what's going on. So refresh. So there's actually an array here. Okay, so my bad. So I think the problem that I made is I forgot that this is an array of, wait, is it an array of objects? It's an array of an array. Okay goody so it's an array of an array so i was supposed to say put zero over there like this so the first item that was really uh sent here or oh, to avoid that i could just say raw user user raw here is equal to the first item in the row like that so that i can avoid in case i need to use this several times i can avoid putting the zero there so we are shifting the inside array this to only reflect the first record that was returned so let's give it another spin okay so it's saying i'm tagging and then you see the a href here like that john at john in this post actually that's a mistake this john should be oh it is actually in there okay and so it should not be there okay so the problem here is the reason why the link is showing like this is because we've escaped the link so let me go to posts here html special charts so now what we could do to avoid this because this renders all the code in here useless so let me remove that html uh, thingy so what I want to do is just come back to profile uh, to functions at PHP. So what I will do is, at this point, if we're just returning this text, I will sanitize it like so. But then what I want to do is sanitize these words only that are not uh, that are not tags. So we're going to put HTML special chars for this one, and same as this one because then it means we didn't find the owner. But then we leave this one alone. Pretty good. Okay. So this actually should be an else statement here. Like so. Let me move this guy inward and do that. Didn't work out. So let me physically move it to that. 
Okay, this is so that we don't repeat because I've seen there's a word repeating here, at John, at John, which is not supposed to be the case. And that's because we did not put an else clause. This was to, this went through even after this happened. So else, I think we're good to go now. So let me refresh that. And now you can see this John there. I'm tagging at John in this post. Now it seems I'm not adding a space at the end here so i should add a space the same way i'm adding a space there so after the a space very important so let's try that again bam so i'm tagging john in this post so if i click on here it should take me to john's profile and looky there it actually worked so let's try and tag uh, mary in there at Mary, how are you? Like so. And then let's post. So as you can see here, I've put a comma there. So let's see how it will handle that. So click. And it did not handle that very well because there is a comma there. Hmm. So that comma is not part of the regular expression. So because these are human beings and they can put things like this in there. So what I could do is add commas there and full stops. So I'm going to add comma and full stop just by putting comma and full stop in the regular expression like that. And uh, that should happen. So whatever, as you use this, you see whatever characters might need to be added, you can add them there. So let's try it again. And that didn't actually work. So why it did not work. So you could put these characters in Q, like so capital Q and then slash E, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've done regular expressions like this. It still works, but not that. Hmm. Okay, so let's give it a test run here. Let me create a new file. And I'm going to say Mary with a comma and a full stop. So let's try and uh, make our own regular expression here just to test the waters. So I will capture this and I will put it there. Okay, so it seems to be working here. This actually works. So by the way, this Q and E there, whatever characters you put in the middle here it will include them to the whole system but i put a space there which should not be there so let me make sure that i remove that space i added there so do not put no spaces okay there we go so that is actually working so let's try and find oh is it yeah it is working so what seems to be the problem then? Refresh. Mary, how are you? Okay, so let's try and edit this. If I do that, see. And now it's actually active without the comma. Let's edit it back. Save. Now it is not. So I think what's happening here is that it's not the fault of the comma that we have such problems. The fault here is that when we are reading from the database, we are including that comma in the tag name. So I think a good idea would be to add a comma and a full stop to this removal part here. So I'll put add comma full stop like so. So let's give it another spin. Okay, so finally we have liftoff. So it's working now. So if I click on Mary, it takes me to Mary's profile. We tag name there. Very good. So that's how you tag people. But in the next tutorial, we'll see how we can inform them that they've been tagged. Uh, that's through notifications. Since we already have notifications there, it's going to blend in quite nicely. I'll see you then.